Cavalry units are highly mobile while having a low strength. Their movement allowance is higher because riding on horses is obviously faster than marching on foot. Their combat strength is significantly lower because they don't have much firepower. Cavalry units are very useful and important in the game. Using cavalry to your best advantage is a critical part of good play in the series of games, just as it was fundamental to generalship and strategy in World War I. You should never use cavalry to attack a defense of any significant strength. The cavalry would be annihilated, just as you would imagine would happen to riders on horses, charging machine guns and quick-fire artillery. The advantages of cavalry are their high mobility and the fact that they project zones of control. Cavalry units should be used to prevent enemy forces from rapidly advancing by column movement and also to protect the flanks of your forces, to keep the enemy from getting around the edge of your forces and threatening you with envelopment. On the other hand, you can use your cavalry if the opportunity presents itself to get around the enemy and assist in attempting to surround them. In the previous video, I showed an example of a cavalry unit using column movement to get around the enemy's flanks. You should use your own cavalry to prevent this. In the example, I showed the German cavalry division, this division right here, getting around the flank of the Russians. Let's look again at how they did this. The German cavalry, because it was not going to enter a Russian zone of control, could use column movement to get around the flank of the Russian forces following the path seen here as the red line. And it ended up all the way up here in hex 2401. A single Russian cavalry unit, say in hex 2301, would have prevented this. Look at the situation again with such a Russian cavalry unit in 2301. The German cavalry unit, in this case, can get no further than 2102 because it cannot use column movement and enter an enemy zone of control. In fact, in this case, it cannot even move next to the Russian cavalry unit because it does not have enough movement points remaining while using regular movement to pay for entering a new hex containing an enemy zone of control. So along the same path, this is as far as it can now get. Cavalry units are also able to evade the enemy when approached or under threat from only enemy infantry forces. Should any amount of enemy infantry without cavalry declare its intention to attack a cavalry unit by either column attack or an attack during the combat phase, the defending cavalry unit has the option of retreating out of the hex it occupies. In this case, the attackers do not have to expend supply and they may advance into the vacated hex as if combat had occurred. This is not an option should the enemy force threatening to attack contain any cavalry. Let's look at an example. Note that in this example, the Russians have the 3rd Cavalry Division in Hex 2404. Let's say the German stack from 2205 moves to 2305 and declares its intention to column attack this Russian cavalry unit. At this point, before the Germans even expend supply, the Russian player could decide to withdraw the Russian division since it is only under the threat of attack from infantry forces. This is because the German cavalry division, already in 2305, is not involved, as it did not start in the same hex as the stack and therefore cannot combine with the other units in their declared column attack. 
The Russian cavalry division would withdraw to 2504. Since it must follow the same hex choice priorities as any retreating unit, the German forces could then advance from 2305 to 2404, just like they were advancing after combat. But in this case, since no actual attack occurred, the Germans would not have to expend any supply points. Let's say that in this example, it's the German combat phase. The German player declares that he is going to attack the Russian cavalry division in hex 2404 with all of the forces in hexes 2305 and 2405. In this situation, the Russian cavalry division could not withdraw before combat as the Germans will be attacking with some cavalry, namely the cavalry division with the infantry stack in 2305. Note that in this case, because he is attacking with some cavalry, should the German take any losses, they will have to be taken by the cavalry unit first, as attacking cavalry strength points are the first ones lost in any counterattack.